Hello, it's Joseph Vardy, and today I'm talking about something a little bit different than I normally do. So, Magic the Gathering's Worlds Tournament just happened, and the format was actually a bit interesting because people had expectations for what deck was supposed to win it all, and the last two decks in the finals were not really what people were expecting to take the entire thing down. So, the current boogeyman of the format is... The Is It Epiphany deck, which is a combo deck that seeks to cast Galvanic Iteration and Alvin's Epiphany, taking two extra turns, and which then they basically win from there. And people are saying that the reason that the format isn't great right now is Alvin's Epiphany. Let's look at a few of those arguments. So here are a few of the arguments why Epiphany is a problem, that being the fact that when it's paired with Galvanic Iteration and then Hall of the Storm Giants, it is able to put 22 damage heading towards the opponent's face immediately. Because it makes four crows, well, four birds, and gets two extra turns, which to power up the hall and swing for seven plus additional four 1-1 one -one flyers, equaling to 22 damage spread over the two extra turns. Another complaint I've heard is that extra turn spells create an unfair, unfun game state. Well, well, that may have been true in some cases in this game's history, such as when uh, Nexus of Fate was legal. The bigger problem with that card was due to the fact that the card looped and could be cast for all time ever and would create an infinite turn loop as opposed to a multiple turn loop. Another complaint I've heard is that it forces people to not play mid-range decks. And the final one I've heard is that it makes the format stale. Well, it is the doom of all standards to eventually get solved. But here are a few things to think about. Epiphany wasn't considered a problem prior to Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So this extra turn spell has been legal for three sets and wasn't considered a problem prior to Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So, it's not that the fact that an extra turn spell was legal that is the problem. Because it's been legal for this long, and it's only started becoming a big thing right now. Another thing, final two decks in the World Tournament were arguably the closest to mid-range decks in the whole field. So... Mid-range is dead isn't a completely true statement, as there are mid-range decks that exist. The deck that won Worlds wasn't even running the Galvanic combo, so it's not just the existence of Innistrad Midnight Hunt that is causing Epiphany to be considered this busted thing. And another thing is that, would the format really change if Epiphany got banned? Now let me talk about what the actual problem that I believe Standard is facing at the moment. The problem that I think is actually facing is current Standard Is It is just that much better than any other color pairing by such a wide margin. I don't think that even if Epiphany was gone, that Is It would somehow become would somehow disappear, I still think that some form of Is It deck variant would be a, a tier 1 deck or at the top of the pile, even if Epiphany was not legal. Because when you look at what they have, they have Expressive Iteration, they have Divide by Zero, they have access to Goldspan Dragon. The tools that the Is It decks have right now are just that much better than what it any other two color pairing can do. And another thing that isn't really helping is that the quality of answers to the Epiphany decks generally aren't doing enough. Outside of the decks that have blue and the decks that have white, as was seen in the second place deck of the tournament, he was basically playing a Gruul deck, but it was splashing blue just so he could have the negation to push him over for the wins against all the Epiphany decks, and it worked. And with white, you have access to 
like spell casting disruption with curse of silence and uh, elite spellbinder. I forget its name. It's the three drop that makes stuff in hand cost two more, which can basically slow down the is it decks to get to the point where you can out aggro them. But that is one deck and an entire field. So the only other thing you can really do is out aggro it. And another thing, what problems would occur if Epiphany gets banned? Mono Green and Is It still have unbalanced card quality as compared to the rest of the format. Is It doesn't actually need Epiphany. I've I've actually been testing quite a few Is It Epiphany list lists just in case it does get banned. But as I've been testing it really has shown me that Epiphany while it makes the deck better, it's not what makes the deck good. Because there's still stuff like Goldspan Dragon, which the control list could play instead and make it more mid-range, and the deck would still be great. And at that point, if you just banned Epiphany, then Mono Green still has Ren and Seven, make Tree Folk, plus Chariot Swing, make second Tree Folk synergy, which is also a very backbreaking thing, unless you're playing a board nuke that specifies destroy all creatures. And in that case, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Blood Up on the Snow. But at that point, you had to have been on the play against the mono green deck. Because your opponent would have to have five mana to get to the Ren and Seven in the first place. So they would at least have one turn with the Renin 7 Tree Folk token and the Chariot. And the Chariot is still there, even if the board does successfully get nuked. So you're probably just going to take Lethal on the following turn regardless. And they still have the Renin 7, even if you do cast the Blood on the Snow for, to destroy the two Tree Folk that get made. Another thing, even if both Chariot and Epiphany got banned, then Mono Green and Is it still would be the two top decks. Because, again, as I already said, the card quality in the Mono Green decks and the Is it decks is still that much higher than that of anything else, really. It is, well, it's not completely true because you could also play Gruel, which is just an extension of Mono Green with just better, more stuff in it. But. The, some variant of these two decks would still be at the top, even if both of those two cards got banned. Because the card quality in other colors doesn't suddenly get better than what you can find in green, blue, and red right now. Because when looking over what the, like, the biggest haymakers are in the format, they all belong to green, blue, and red. The best black finisher that I could find is Professor Onyx, and that's a six-drop Planeswalker, which doesn't do as much as Renin 7. Or Mono White really has to stay low to the ground because it doesn't have any big finishers. But not all is doom and gloom, because the format isn't completely solved yet. As we saw, Teamer Treasures was unheard of until World's End, it got second place. There are answers to Epiphany, and even if that means your mid-range deck has to splash into an unconventional color like blue, black, or white to get some additional Epiphany disruption, then you can still do that to help hedge against that matchup. Also, they might just ban Epiphany, and then you don't have to worry about that then. And also, it's a month till Crimson Vow comes out, and... My hope is that they print some good answers to the problems of the format and they help bring up the card quality in the less represented colors of the format at the moment. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, post a comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.